this is Michael May of Royal Shell Real Estate. Today is Thursday, the 20th of August. You'll be getting this newsletter tomorrow. The weather here is somewhat overcast, as you can tell. It's a little gray in here in the office. The weather is warm. We had one heck of a rainstorm on Monday, my son's birthday. We were traveling to go to a restaurant and um, the area received between three and a half and five and a half inches of rain in about a three hour period. It was quite something to see. Anyway, this week the newsletter covers quite a bit of ground. One of the stories that I'm talking about right now has to do with the uh, growth in real estate in Cape Coral and how Cape Coral is number two in the nation in mortgage originations. Uh, that says quite a bit. Uh, they're number two against another state. I think it was Mississippi or something, and I guess because they have so far to go, um, they showed a 103% increase, where Cape Coral showed a 31% increase for the second quarter of 2015. So number two in the country. Um, my European clients, uh, the update on that, we were discussing last week, they have a 74-foot catamaran, it's 33 feet wide. Nelson Marine has just delivered the information that I need to submit to the city of Naples to see if they'll approve dock changes that we've um, asked for from Nelson Marine to see if it'll be compatible with the zoning for the area. So we'll give you an update on that next week. Uh, looking at Fort Myers Beach, boy, we keep on talking about how much construction is going on there. I actually put my feet on the ground and went and looked at some of the work that they're doing, met some of the um, coordinators for that project, took a bunch of photographs today, so that's included. Uh, what else? Um, Europeans uh, select Florida over most other states and uh, it's because they feel so secure here in Florida over and above New York City and over and above Los Angeles Florida is the main place that Europeans feel secure and uh, many are spending their money right here my son has been working on two deals one he just closed last week he works for Coldwell Banker he had one that went along very well closed really well easy the second one, we have a problem with the home inspection. We have a leaking roof and the uh, electrical mass that's coming from Florida Power and Light into the house, that aluminum tube, somehow got bent. I can't imagine how that happened. But the seller had capped his deal to $1,500 uh, for repairs, which we didn't like that because they sprung that on us after we signed the contract. They also didn't tell us that the washer dryer were going to be removed and was not on an exclusion list as part of the disclosures the seller should have given to uh, the buyer. Added to that, we have a 1031 exchange on this transaction and the clock is running and working against us. The seller, we, or Christian, told him, listen, if you don't get this work done for us, you're going to have to disclose it on a seller disclosure for future buyers anyway, so why don't you ignore the $1,500 cap you placed on repairs and get the roof repaired. Also the mast, uh, how that electrical mast got bent, but um, I recommended the Florida Power and Light deal with that. And that's probably their problem. Uh, sure enough, the seller has come back and agreed to do the roof and to give a $1,000 allowance over and above the roof repair for the um, future or the other things that were shown on the home inspection. So. I think Christian's happy about that. The delicacy of this is that this is a 1031 exchange and the um, buyer of the property should have no monies into the deal except for what the 1031 agent is holding from recent home sales, the profits that were made from those sales. So I recommended to Christian that he contact a 1031 agent to see what impact any concessions made by the seller to the buyer. I'm thinking that that's going to be a problem. I don't think there can be any concessions by the seller. So we have three weeks before closing, so I recommend if you're going to give $1,000 for those repairs, use $1,000 and get the work done before we close.
Uh, that's about it for this week, I think. Uh, again, Michael May, Royal Shell Real Estate. If you need me in any way, uh, please give me a call. I'm excited to work with more and more people. Season is just around the corner. Do not wait very long. The market is red hot here. Uh, do you want to be a participant in the market appreciation, or do you want to be an observer as the market rises for the next five to seven years when your opportunity to buy may be taking wings? So, again, this is Michael May of Royal Shell Real Estate. You can reach me at 239-949-0000. I hope you have a nice weekend. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.